Some of you might be shocked regarding what you're about to see right now. But check this out. Facebook donated hundreds of thousands to senators grilling Zuckerberg. Now, many might not see this article about the friendship between Facebook and the U.S. government as a big deal. But ever since Facebook came online, I have been warning people about it because of something I discovered decades ago about the U.S. government's strong desire to get the American people to offer up their private information freely so as to better track each and every person in this nation. Being a student of prophecy, I knew exactly what I was looking at back then, and when Facebook finally came online, it was like I was snapped back decades in time reading that article all over again. Well, sadly, I can't find that article anymore so as to show everyone how this was all planned long ago, but it really doesn't matter anymore because prophecy already shows how the second beast in Revelation, which is the USA, will need to have such information so as to better enforce the mark of the first beast, which we all know is the Roman Catholic Vatican. And now that the truth is known by most people about Facebook due to the recent illegal activity regarding their private information, I don't even need that article anymore from decades ago. But now we see the people are once again being conned into thinking all's going to get better when in fact nothing's going to change. Since the truth is out about Facebook and the theft of all that private information, the U.S. government had no choice but to make it look like they're going to fix this when in fact it's nothing more than political theater so as to deceive the American people into staying on Facebook and I can prove it. Besides the fact the article that I just posted proves Facebook has been paying off the senators that are supposedly grilling Zuckerberg, check out this video of this grilling, if you will, right before it started. It shows Zuckerberg the morning that he was about to be grilled by the senators. He literally gives the nod to 21 senators and shakes the hands of two of them, and they're all smiles. And this is supposed to be an unbiased joint session of the Senate Commerce and Judiciary Committees on Tuesday afternoon. I mean, it's just, it's supposed to be totally unbiased. If the fixed wasn't already in and Zuckerberg wasn't previously briefed on everything that will be discussed, why is Zuckerberg giving the nod all across the room to each member he obviously made agreements with before sitting in that chair? I mean, it's really boldly obvious, and this is what shocked me. No one caught this. As prophesied, this is nothing more than a corrupt government performing political theater so as to keep the people in the dark as to their soon-to-be-realized methods of control. Check this video out. Okay, they're getting them all away from him. Now watch Zuckerberg start nodding. Watch. Commerce, Science, and Transportation will come to order. We welcome everyone to today's hearing on Facebook's social media privacy and the use and dish and abuse of data. Although not unprecedented, this is a unique hearing. The issues we will consider range from data privacy and security to consumer protection and the Federal Trade Commission enforcement touching on jurisdictions of these two committees. We have 44 members between our two committees. That may not s seem like a large group by Facebook standards, <laughs> but it is significant here for a hearing in the United States Senate. We will do our best to keep things moving efficiently given our circumstances. We will begin with opening statements from the chairman and ranking members of each committee, starting with Chairman Thune, and then proceed with Mr. Zuckerberg's opening statement. We will then move on to questioning. Each member will have five minutes to question witnesses. I'd like to remind the members of both committees <coughs> that time limits will be and must be strictly enforced given the numbers that we have here today. If you're over your time, Chairman Thune and I will make sure to let you know there will not be a second round as well. Of course, there will be the usual follow-up written questions for the record. Questioning will alternate between majority and minority and between committees. We will proceed in order based on respective 
committee seniority. We will anticipate a couple short breaks later in the afternoon, and so it's my pleasure to recognize the chairman of the Commerce Committee, uh, uh, Chairman Thune, for his opening statement. Thank you, Chairman Grassley. Today's hearing is extraordinary. It's extraordinary to hold a joint committee hearing. It's even more extraordinary to have a single CEO testify before nearly half of the United States Senate. But then Facebook is pretty extraordinary. More than 2 billion people use Facebook every month. 1.4 billion people use it every day. More than the population of any country on Earth except China, and more than four times the population of the United States. It's also more than 1,500 times the population of my home state of South Dakota. Plus, roughly 45 percent of American adults report getting at least some of their news from Facebook. In many respects, Facebook's incredible reach is why we're here today. We're here because of what you, Mr. Zuckerberg, have described as a breach of trust. A quiz app used by approximately 300,000 people led to information about 87 million Facebook users being obtained by the company Cambridge Analytica. There are plenty of questions about the behavior of Cambridge Analytica, and we expect to hold a future hearing on Cambridge and, sim and similar firms. But as you've said, this is not likely to be an isolated incident, a fact demonstrated by Facebook's suspension of another firm just this past weekend. You've promised that when Facebook discovers other apps that had access to large amounts of user data, you will ban, ban them and tell those affected. And that's appropriate. But it's unlikely to be enough for the two billion Facebook users. One reason that so many people are worried about this incident is what it says about how Facebook works. Okay, I counted 21. There could be more. I'll tag it better in the video, obviously, when I edit it. And yesterday I counted 24, but I don't want to go into any great detail with this. It just makes it painfully obvious that he was briefed before this meeting, and he's got a lot of friends in the U.S. Senate. Thank you for watching. God bless.